I think we need to take off a lot. <laughs> Go to university, they said. I'm getting foaming hand soap in my eyes. I feel cheap. <laughs> We're Tyler and Todd, and a year ago we gave up a life of traveling full-time in an RV to park it in the middle of the Canadian forest. With our sights set on building a cabin, for the last few weeks we brought you along as we made the move to the woods official and tied up loose ends on the other side of the country. Now that we're back, we're riding out a two-week quarantine without water or electricity, and things are getting interesting to say the least. Come along. Good morning. It is an absolutely beautiful day here today. It's six degrees, which really starting to feel like spring is on the way. Hey, buddy. Hey. Want to say hi? There was quite a few comments in last week's video about why are we doing a quarantine? We only went to another Canadian city. Great question. So Nova Scotia has a very strict quarantine policy where even if you leave the province for a minute, you have to do a 14-day quarantine. So. I think it's a big reason why there's virtually no cases here. So we're gladly doing our part and sticking around here for two weeks. So the only hiccup has been the shower situation. So as some of you may know, we do not yet have water on the land, which I'm very happy to say is gonna be changing quite soon. More on that later, but yeah, normally we go to the gym or we hit up Todd's parents' house when we need to take a shower. So yeah, it's been a baby wipe situation for the last little bit. Don't. <laughs> Don't what? Anyway, we got no running water here and we're stuck on the land for 14 days, so. Things are great. Something needs to change with that, so we'll figure that out later. But anyway, we are working on a really exciting project today. We are sort of fulfilling Todd's dream of having our own hiking trail on the property, which, by the way, I'm walking on right now. It's actually looking really, really good. I think it's gonna be nice to have a place to snowshoe in the winter and a place to kind of hike in the summer. Ooh, this section here needs a little bit of work. Anyway, I'm gonna catch up with him and get started. How goes it, Lumberjack? It's going. This is the worst part here. It's really a lot of alders, but then out there it's looking clearer, so. Looks pretty messy. Not sure. <laughs> It's a little soupy. One of them was almost over my boot. This is the property line running. How, how about I come over and you let me traverse this and then you can explain what's going on here. I told you one's almost over the boot. Oh. You're gonna wanna go over here to that higher ground there. Even Charlie and Eddie are like, not today. This part of the property is a bog for like this corner and then it goes back into forest. I think it'll be really good in the winter. I think it'll be good in the winter. I think it's also good just to do because this actually is the property line so I don't know if it shows up on camera, but you can see kind of straight down and then it goes straight back that way. So it's nice to have the undergrowth removed so that it's always a clear line. Well, you made it. Hey, buddy. Eddie's like, I don't think so. I'm thinking we can either use the alders and you can get started on putting them in the low areas or we can work on dragging them out and have like a little fire up there this afternoon. Yeah, I'd rather do that. I'm not really in the mood to do a lot of work, to be honest. <laughs> Still settled into quarantine yeah yeah it's Let's, kind of sorry yeah go ahead it's just kind of like this again i feel like we've been in a holding pattern for months because we were stuck on like getting things permitted and approved and then like the prices have gone sky high and now winter's here so i just feel like we're twiddling our thumbs at least this way i feel like i'm out i'm being active i'm doing something yeah but things are coming along right they are we got big plans we got big big plans in the works Hopefully. <laughs> yeah, this needs to be snipped up a little bit more, I think. All right, don't be getting snippy with me. How about you finish snipping up some of the remaining trees okay. and I'll start lifting this over and make a mini fire pile. All right, sounds good. Hi, Pa. I don't know that one, Dad. Sit. Now give me a paw. And can I have the other? Oh, oh. and can you lay down? No, I want you to lay down. Oh, that's such a good boy. Are we thinking like right here? Sure, that works. Oh, uh -huh. 
life here we've um got these chairs set up or we we just about have them set up <laughs> um we've got a, our little wood pile because turns out the little alders they don't really keep burning for very long they so they need some encouragement yeah we're slowly moving in i think we might come tenting here it's really really nice and the view above here is just it's so pretty eddie's curled up in his sleep over there <laughs> i don't know if you can see him but anyway, truthfully, we've um, spent probably like three hours. What time is it? Like probably two o'clock? Yeah, probably. I don't even know. <laughs> anyway, I'm getting really hungry and I really want to make something on the fire, but we don't have anything that we can cook. Like we don't have marshmallows or like veggie dogs or I anything. We corn. Oh, that would be good too. That'd be so good. That's the other tricky thing about this quarantine is we have to bug Todd's parents to go to the grocery store and drop food off for us. So yeah. We haven't been getting as many fresh things, so. Anyway, huge shout out to Todd's mom for going grocery shopping for us during this time. I don't know how you'd be able to. It'd be. It'd be really hard. Well, especially because it's not like we can get Uber Eats here. <laughs> no, 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 no Uber Eats in the woods. Oh my God. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> okay, anyway. I'm gonna go figure out something for us to eat for lunch. It's okay. like a super quick walk up the hill. It's probably like three, four minutes away, so. All right, well, have a safe walk. Thanks, I'm well. staying here. All right. I went ambitious, and I did peanut butter wraps. Why are you grilling a peanut butter wrap? I don't know. I thought that it would be, um, better. <laughs> like, it would maybe melt the peanut butter and crunch it up. There's a secret surprise in one. All right, well, works for me. What do you think, boys? I'm just like dead set on using this fire for something and we have like nothing, so. How's it going getting it on the grill? <laughs> Not well. Once it's on, how do you get it off? Don't know. We'll get it off, don't worry. My face is like all messed up from that. Oh yeah? Have to do facials tonight. Oh uh, yeah. What, what do you think, Eddie? What are we gonna do? Spa night? Could do haircuts. Yeah. We, pro we need to do a haircut. Charlie's so funny. What does he see? The Zelda. The Zelda! We name all the mice that Charlie finds. They're always named Zelda. But they so always when go goes... missing because they were scurry off. So he's always looking for Zelda. People will ask us how come Eddie gets so much attention or is always like getting kisses and stuff from us. It's because Eddie will not leave us alone. Like if we don't pay attention to him, he sits here and waits for it. Whereas Charlie's just off doing his own thing. What are you up to, buddy? I'm just looking for the Felda. How long do you think they take? I'm not sure. Hmm. He said, is my wrap done, Dad? Oh, wow. Getting there. <laughs> You're such a sweet boy. Somebody ordered a well done peanut butter wrap. Hey. You're gonna be grateful and you're gonna enjoy it. I think it's gonna be really good. Or at least the cookbook they said. <laughs> Why is there snow? It's hot. <laughs> Eddie, go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Gotta go. Eddie, Eddie, gotta go. Gotta go, Eddie. Oh, you even closed up the end. Yeah. This actually looks really good. This does. And there's um, on the inside like actual peanuts. Ooh. This is really good. You said all set. I'm like sort of shocked. I take my words back. Peanut butter on a wrap grilled is phenomenal. It like crisps it up. Crisps. Anyway, we're just gonna go eat this and enjoy. I'm done mine. There's another one there. Mm. It has banana in it. Mm. You can try it. You can be open to trying new things. We're just fully using kindling as a knife now.
Just wanted to know where we've set our standards. So this is banana. Hey. It's Tyler from the future and I'm just sitting down to start editing today's video and I wanted to share with you guys a little trick that I picked up to improve our videos each week. A huge shout out to Storyblocks for partnering with us on today's video. I honestly think every content creator needs to be using Storyblocks just to make better, higher quality videos. Storyblocks is a platform with over 1 million royalty free assets from everything from 4K video to sound effects. What this means for me as a YouTuber is if I'm missing that shot that would provide the perfect transition to the next clip, or there's a shot that I just want to provide more detail on, I'm able to leverage Storyblocks to improve my storytelling without sacrificing my vision for the video. With super affordable subscription options and an all access plan that allows for unlimited downloads that are all completely royalty free, that you're able to use personally or even for commercial use, there's no reason to not be using Storyblocks to start elevating your filmmaking today. Make sure you use the link in the description box down below to head over to storyblocks.com. But for now, I've got a long day of editing in front of me, so I'm going to get back to it. Enjoy the rest of the video. So as excited as we are that we're getting our well installed soon, some things can just not wait. Day like nine. Shower. Yeah. Day nine of quarantine, and it's time we sort of reinvent the wheel a little bit. I got one of these really large totes from outside, and I filled it with snow and I put it up over on the desk there by the fireplace thinking, you know what, this is gonna melt really quickly. No, it didn't work. <laughs> we had it set up for a really long time. Like hours. And hours. Probably got like this much snow melted. Yeah, so the issue is we both really need a haircut. Like my hair is awful right now. I and you're still cute though. Thanks. So we've slowly but surely been melting the snow in these containers. The one that's working the best. Oh yeah, we need to keep the fire going. Restock the old fire there. It is really warm in here. We're wearing like running shorts. It's so warm because we're trying to melt so much snow. So what we're doing is basically just taking the snow from right here, putting it in our smaller container so it melts quicker, and then putting it into the shower bag. And when, when we have enough water and all that's finished and the water's warm, we're gonna get our hair cut. So we're reopening Todd's Mop Top Chop Shop. I really wish I had one of those things to lift you up a little bit. So, uh, what brings you in? How's the missus? It's always barbers, too. Always a barber. How's the missus? You don't know me. He's doing well. <laughs> <laughs> so a year ago when we were doing this, did you think that a year later we'd be right where we are doing it again? I did not. Oh, I'm literally not even pushing. I know, pushing. but you have to go slow. No. You push. I don't. Yes, you do. You want to talk about someone needing to go slow? Cosmo, top, 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 top. The logger back in a couple weeks. I thought you were sexy before this haircut. Who is this sophisticated blonde lawyer? Wait till I shower in that bucket. Oh, oh really? baby. <laughs> I know it's kind of a weird thing to crave, but like when you would go in like the mall, the pizza place, Sparrow. Hey boss, let me get some spaghetti. I've never eaten there. Ever. It's probably the red wine, but I could do like a pizza, pasta, Salad. I got my nails done and we're having salad. It's really hard because it naturally wants to go this way. <laughs> I have the right to refuse service in my own business. That's the type of hetero behavior I won't stand That for. is. Tyler, I tell you what, anytime you leave the land, you need to take a stick with you because you're going to be beating off the men and the women with a haircut looking like this. You know what? This isn't the first time I've cut someone's hair in this position. Like, I look semi-presentable for the first time in, like... Nine days. <laughs> it's like, counting? hi! What are we doing today, doll? <laughs> Just a little off the top. Bring in the sides. Is that offensive? Probably. Someone okay. will let us know. <laughs> <laughs> they always do. <laughs> Relax. This is the point where you'd say you're pushing too hard. What are we thinking for length off the top? I think we need to take off a lot. Ho 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 ho! That's gonna get fixed. I'm trying to figure out how to wear it because it's choppy. Hi, my name's Jeff and I'm running for president of the PTA. Jeff from the PTA gets ass. You look really good. Just let me sit back here. Do you finally love me? Go like this, fix it. Yeah, I think it looks good. Let's sweep up and then let's squeak up. Turns out we don't have any shampoo. <laughs> we do have two different types of hand soap. So the shower bag is pretty much as hot as it's gonna get sitting next to the fire, which is pretty cold. And then this water here that's been sitting on the stove 
for probably like 10 days. We're gonna pour that into here so it's hot. People said we were gonna have a hard time going out to Edmonton, staying in a house with electricity and running water and coming back to the land. Joke's on them. Like, what more do I need? I got a Rubbermaid tote. Got it on clearance on Boxing Day. That's the best time to buy Rubbermaid totes if you're looking, but. Go to university, they said. All right, let's do this. This is my hand. <laughs> I'm getting foaming hand soap in my eyes. You're pretty wet now. Honey, I was wet at the first glimpse of your haircut. <laughs> <laughs> do you feel good? Um, I feel cheap. <laughs> We were sort of joking at first, but Sparrow Night actually did happen. Spaghetti, got a pizza. Got a little salad. What more do you need? What a great day. What I a feel great really day. good being clean and like <laughs> a new person, to be honest. It's all from a shower in a Rubbermaid tote in the middle of a 1996 trailer. We're Tyler and Todd. <sighs> Home is wherever you are or wherever you park yeah, it. Yeah, or, yeah. yeah, 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 but. All right, we're gonna get into all of this. I already was, I couldn't wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. So we just woke up to a phone call from the well company that's supposed to be doing the install in a couple of weeks, like March 20th or something like that. March 19th. March 19th. Anyway, the spring weight restrictions here in Nova Scotia take effect next week, which means large and heavy vehicles can't be driving on the roads because the frost is coming out of the ground, the pavement's too soft, and it ruins the road. So no driving of those until May when they reopen the roads. Which is insane yeah. that like, the roads are literally closed for like two months. It came out of nowhere. They announced it just a couple days ago. Um, it's yeah. really early this year. Normally it's the end of May so, or end of March, so. Yeah, so long story short, if we don't get our well installed, like right now, it's not be able to be installed until May. Yeah. So they're it's gonna be May. It's gonna be May. They're squeezing us in, which is just the biggest absolute relief in the world. Yeah. I actually can't even believe it. So we're just scrambling to get ready yeah. now, and then we're gonna go out and but meet them. It's a good thing because if they're closing off the roads for spring, that means that spring is around the corner and we've made it through the biggest part of the winter in this RV. Yeah. Thank God, because we're getting water. So we're gonna have the water, the well's gonna be drilled, but they're not gonna have the pumps until we figure out a little bit with that. But I'm, I'm having a lot of anxiety. Like I wanna like get ready and, and get out there. Like they're literally gonna be here any minute. Okay, well, <laughs> we're gonna go outside and get a well. Oh my god, guys, I never thought I'd have a well. It's cold too, so you need your hat. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. So in the research process to figure out the best way to get water to the land, we had a few options available to us. We could have done a dug well, rainwater collection, or the method that we decided to go with, a drilled well. The reason that we did a drilled well is so many properties around here have water issues in the summer, whether it's not enough supply or contaminants in their drinking water. With this piece of equipment here, we won't have to worry about that. This truck is gonna drill a couple hundred feet down into the earth with just a small six inch pipe. That's gonna tap into water down below, bringing it up to the surface. And not only is it gonna be cleaner and safer for us, but it's also gonna be a more consistent supply, future-proofing the property. So it's gonna be enough water to not only do our house over there, it's also gonna be enough for our van life friends to have water hook up when they come to visit, and for future projects, maybe you guys come to visit. So anyway, I'm gonna stay out of the guy's way, let them do their thing, and we'll catch up with you in a bit. Figured along a while, would it be easier to tell that the air in this room, man, it's thicker than hell. I'm finding it hard to believe that this is something it's not. I'll grab a cab out of town, yeah, maybe long or maybe just for a while. You know I want you, even though I'm coming apart. Even when I'm running away from it, yeah, I don't even know the half of it. Because I need you, even though I'm falling apart. So it's four o'clock here now. They've been here literally all day since 8 a.m. If you can hear that noise, they're still drilling. The way that a drilled well works is you have no idea how much it's gonna cost until they actually start the drilling. 
and it's $50 per foot, or that's what it is here anyway. Yeah. Hopefully they find it in a reasonable amount, and yeah, anyway, it's it's just every second it's on, it just sounds like a cash register, like cha-ching, 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 so it's not been a very nice day, let's put it that way. But we're gonna have water, so at this point, yeah. Like, I don't care what it costs. I just want to have a well here. Yeah. We need a well. I wasn't Miss waiting. Budget over here doesn't care what it costs. You hear that, guys? <laughs> Can you tell I'm not the one who takes care of that? Yeah, he sure isn't. So, <laughs> my anxiety and my spreadsheets right now are burning up in flames. So. And Eddie and I are doing great. Oh, yeah. It's a great day <laughs> for you, isn't it, buddy? Anyway, we're just going to chill and wait and breathe. <sighs> All right. We'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Good morning. So it's the next day and we decided not to vlog last night. They were here pretty late, still drilling. Yeah. They had to go 260 feet down, which is a lot deeper than we were hoping for, so. But we did hit a good source of water. So the water's coming into the well at 4.5 gallons per minute, which is a really good flow. Well, it's a good flow depending well. on. Oh. Oh. So basically the flow, 4.5 gallons is good depending on how high the static water level sits. So that's how high in the 260 foot well the water sits. So that's your well storage basically. Yeah, so now that it's been like 12 hours since they finished, the water has like stabilized inside the well and even when you go out you can't hear water moving in it anymore. So that means that we've hit like the highest the well will be. So we can go and measure how far down the water is and then calculate the volume of storage that we have. The Department of Environment says, based on your depth, what your minimum gallons per minute are. So we're gonna go out and measure now and we're hoping that it's at least enough for two homes, Yeah. but we're not that optimistic. So yeah, anyway, kind of nervous, but fingers crossed. So as much as we'd love to take credit for this idea, this idea is Todd's dad's, Tim, and it's such a good idea. So, Coke can on the end of a measuring tape. And we're gonna drop it down, and when the Coke can starts floating, that means that we've hit the top of the water, obviously. Ooh. So, then we'll just measure how far up it is. Hello? Hello? Okay, ready? Sounds like water. It does, 34 feet down. Whoa, that's so good. That is good. Okay, let's go in and do the calculation. Okay. So really good news about the well. I think it's like a really good situation we're in. So it's literally the best case scenario. Yeah. I'm like so relieved and excited right now. Okay, so the whole well is 260 feet. Then you take off 20 feet at the bottom where they leave for sediment so the pump won't go all the way to the bottom. Then we take off our 34 feet from the top. So that means that our water storage is 206 feet. When you multiply that by 1.4 gallons per foot of piping, that gives you 288 gallons. We're bringing water in at 4.5 gallons per minute. So in one minute, we need to use 4.51 gallons to even start using that storage. Yeah, so basically <laughs> all I know is the Department of Environment requires a 200 foot well to have a minimum flow of one gallon per minute. We have 4.5 and we're over 200 feet. So we're building 4.5 houses. No, we're not, but <laughs> we have definitely future-proofed the property, whether we want to have yurts with outdoor showers, whether we want to have a future pool. I, I like a pool. <laughs> anyway, it just feels pretty, um, pretty amazing. Like, obviously, this was a huge investment, and we were really rolling the dice, so we're, we're just feeling on a high yeah. right now, but we're going to sit down and do some work to figure out the electrical components to actually get the water out of the well, because... Having a shower would be really nice. We don't want to do any more bird bath showers, so. But that can all be figured out. out. The big thing was the equipment was here. We got the whole, like the pipe is in the ground. So yeah. now the rest of it we can deal with. It's just really exciting that in a couple of weeks we're not going to have to drive to go and get water. We can just walk across the driveway. Yeah, so anyway, if you guys could do us a huge favor, give this video a thumbs up, leave us a comment down below and yeah. hit that subscribe button. And if you really, really liked this video, make sure you tell a friend. Yeah, it really does help our channel out. We spent an incredible amount of time editing these videos and trying to make great content for you guys. So if you could support us in that way, it would truly mean a lot. But anyway, we're gonna get to it because this pump house isn't gonna plan itself out. So we will it's see you guys- It's not gonna pump itself out. Like. All right, anyway. <laughs> we'll just go. We'll okay. see you Sunday, guys. Bye. What's the moment gone, you know it's gone Don't you ever try to take too long 
Once a moment gone, you know it's gone.